this video we're going to go through example 210. Um, it is uh, an example um, under position vectors, uh, chapter 2.7 position vectors, and we're going to look at example 210. Um, just need to get my pen. So, okay, let's read the question here. Yeah, it says, an elastic rubber band is attached to points A and B, as shown in, uh, in the figure, we'll look at it now. Determine its length and its direction measured from A toward B. Determine its length and its direction measured from A toward B. So we have an uh, uh, elastic rubber band attached between A and B. Okay? It's attached to points A and B. Determine its length and the direction measured from A to B. Okay, so let's have a look at this this uh, diagram. So again, we've got our x, y, z axes. We have coordinate A and we have coordinate B. Those are the first things we need to see. And we have this elastic band attached from A to B. So that would be then a straight line between A and B. We have coordinate A and we have coordinate B. And um, just by looking at this, what are the coordinates of A? What are the coordinates of A? How do we determine what our coordinates of the point are? Well, how, how far do I move uh, in the x, y, and z axes, directions, from the origin? So how far would I move in the x direction to get to A? I would move plus 1, plus 1 in the x direction, okay? How far would I move in the y direction? 0, because can you see that this point... A is in the XZ plane, the XZ plane, meaning it has no Y component. So how far in the X? 1. How far in the Z? Minus 3. So that length is 3, but to move in the Z, I would need to go in the minus 3 direction. I would need to go minus 3. Okay? What about B? So I'm just trying to get us to practice... Um, how, you know, how do we get from the origin to, to the, co the coordinate? So that gives us our actual coordinates. Um, then, what about B? How, uh, what are the coordinates of B? Well, how, how do I get from the origin to point B? Can you see that I need to move in the negative x direction? How far? Two units. Two meters, rather. Two meters in the negative x. Two meters. Okay, and how far in the y? I need to then, I need to move 3 in the y. No, wait, what is that showing? I'm sorry, 2. That distance there is 2. So I move 2 in the negative x direction. I move 2 in the positive y direction. And then I move 3 in the positive z. Okay, so now that we've just looked at that diagram, let's go to my diagram here. So, what, it, what are the coordinates of A? The coordinates of A are going to be... going to be... 1, 0, minus 3. You got it? Meters, right? Each of these is in meters. I move 1 in the X, I move 0 in the Y, and minus 3 in the, in the Z direction. Then B, what are the coordinates of B? It's going to be minus 2 in the x, it's going to be 2 in the y, and it's going to be 3 in the z direction. Okay? So remember we've got this elastic band. I'm, I'm not going to draw it now, it's just going to clutter up the drawing. But we've got this elastic band between here. So <clears throat> um, they say determine its length. So we need to determine the length of this elastic band that's attached between here. And then we also need to determine the direction measured from, from A to B. Okay? So again, um, what is... Uh, we're going to look at position vectors because that's going to allow us to, to solve this problem. Position vector is simply how do I get from point A to point B? All right? So just without doing any... Uh, writing out any equation... How do I get from point A to point B? Just look at these coordinates, guys. How do I get from A to B? How do I get from 1 
to minus 2. <clears throat> well, I need to move minus 3, right? In the, in the x direction. I need to get from point A to point B in the x, I need to move minus 3. I'm moving from 1 to minus 2. So we have minus 3, okay? I'm just going to do it roughly here. Minus 3 for the x, the y, I'm going to move from 0 to 2. I'm moving from 0 in the y to 2 in the y. So that's going to be 2. And then what about the z? I'm going to move from minus 3 to 3. So that's going to be plus 6, right? So that's going to be plus 6. So if I write this out as a, as a position vector, I'm going to get minus 3i plus 2j plus 6k. You got that? So another way of doing it is simply saying the final points minus the initial points. Okay, so that's what, this is basically what we calculated by just looking at that. Um, what are the final points? The final point is minus 2. I'm going to write it out here. Again, RA is equal to BX minus AX. And the I, BY minus AY, J, plus BZ minus AZ, K. Meters. Meters. So what is that? BX minus AX. Minus 2 minus 1. And the I. Plus 2 minus 0. J. Plus 3 minus minus 3. 3 minus. Minus 3. K. So R gives us. Minus 3I. Plus 2. J. Plus 6K meters okay so that's exactly what we got just by using so remember initially all I all I said to you was how do I get from A to B I need to move minus 3 in the X I need to move plus 2 in the Y plus 6 okay from minus 3 to 3 gives me 6 well the the actual uh, equation tells us final point minus initial final point minus initial and you can see it's exactly the same thing but essentially, I want to remind you, a position vector just tells us it's, it's a distance. How, how do I travel in the x, y, and z to get from point A to point B? Okay, but remember the question was, what is the length of this elastic band? Remember that this is in meters. So if you looked at the previous video, you'll see that if I look at just the magnitude, right? If I calculate the magnitude of this vector... It's going to be minus 3 squared plus 2 squared plus 6 squared square root gives me what? Take out the trusty calculator or, or just look in the textbook and it gives you 7 meters. So the magnitude, the magnitude of the position vector is 7 meters. I want to emphasize again guys when, we, when we're talking position vector we're talking meters we're talking length distance in vector form this tells us how far i move in the x y and z directions in meters but if i calculate the the magnitude of this force uh, sorry sorry wrong incorrect the magnitude of this position vector i get a length i get a distance okay so the distance from a to b is seven meters okay so that is the answer to the first question the length that's the length. Now, what about the direction? Okay. What is the direction from A, from A to B? Well, what we can do is we can work with um, our uh, direction cosines, which are what? Cos of alpha is equal then to, it's going to be what? It's going to be Rx over R. And then cos beta is going to be ry over r. And cos gamma is going to be rz over r. Okay, you need to go back and revisit what the direction cosines are. 
direction cosines allow us to calculate our coordinate direction angles. Okay, so if there's A, guys, and that's B, right, we are trying to find our, um, the, di the direction between A and B, and what's very helpful is, or not very helpful, what allows us to calculate the actual answer, if we, is to use the direction cosines, um, but if we change our, our coordinate system, and we put a local coordinate system here at the tail of this vector r, right? Remember this vector r is from point A to point B. It's actually r, a, b. r, a, b means I have a position vector from the point A to the point B. So if we change, if we move uh, our coordinate system or if we place a local coordinate system, uh, at the tail of RAB, and we use our, we calculate our direction cosines, we can then calculate our alphas. So we're going to get cos alpha is equal to RX, which is minus 3, over 7. And we're going to get cos beta is equal to 2, 2 over 7, and cos gamma is 6 over 7. And then alpha, alpha, beta, gamma give us 115, 73,4 and 31 degrees. So what is this telling us? It tells us if I measure, so uh, that alpha equals 115 is measured between the force vector, oh, sorry, I keep getting that mistaken, between this vector, which is R, it's a position vector, and our positive x-axis, that's alpha, that's 115, okay? Then we've got uh, 73,14, sorry, 73,4, which is our beta, that is between the, the vector and the positive y direction, and then I've got gamma there, which is 31 degrees, which is between the position vector and the positive z axis. Okay, so again, if you've got any questions, put it in the comment section or you can email me. Thanks, guys.